Hey everyone, it's Dale from the WebHub class, and I want to walk you through the process of building a site with Bootstrap. Again, remember, Bootstrap is a template for building a site, and uh, in these first couple of videos, we're going to focus simply on the structure of the site. We're not going to really get into the design or style of the site that much. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to getbootstrap.com, and this is the uh, homepage for Bootstrap. So you're going to click Download Bootstrap right here. And then it's going to take you to this option right here. And we want to download Bootstrap right here. So you click on that option again, and it will download a file, a zip file. So you're going to drag that to your desktop and then unzip it just simply by unclicking it. And you can get rid of the other option there. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, um, you're going to notice, let me uh, close this a little bit. You're going to notice that the folder is called Bootstrap 3.2.0 Dist for distribution. Uh, we want to rename this project three. So make sure you do that before we start working on anything else. So now that folder is our project three folder. And when you click on the folder itself, um, you see three folders inside of the project three folder. We have a CSS folder, which contains several different style sheets. We have a fonts folder and we have a JS folder, which stands for JavaScript. We'll get into uh, this later on. But you, what you won't notice in here is an index.html file. So we don't have a home page yet. We only have uh, some style sheets and we have other things associated with Bootstrap, but no actual file. So we need to change that. So you're going to want to go open up Text Wrangler and get rid of any junk that might be in there. Actually, I'm just going to go to a new new text document just to make sure I'm completely clear that was a old file, something I was working on. Uh, now, Bootstrap does make it somewhat simple for you because they include some uh, introductory template code. So if you scroll down on the Getting Started page, scroll down to where it says Bootstrap Template or Basic Template. And what you're going to want to do is copy and paste all of this into your text wrangler. Now this should look fairly familiar. This is all stuff we've worked on. We have an HTML tag, we have a head tag, um, we've got a lot of information here which don't worry about that just yet. Um, we have a title tag, so we have a title of the of the website and we close our head tag, we have a body tag, we have a header here that says hello world, we close the body tag and we close the HTML tag. So again, this is all stuff we've already done. Just don't let all the other stuff in here get to you. That's all um, comments uh, inside the code to let developers know what type of stuff you're running. And you'll notice right here, we do have a style sheet already attached. So Bootstrap has already attached one of its style sheets um, for you. So first thing I'm going to do is rename this. So um, I'm going to call this hiking across Texas because I would be building a hiking site. And I'm going to go up here to save as. And now I want to save it as index.html. And also I want to save it inside the project three folder. So once I do that, I can now open this and preview it and there you see we have our index.html and notice because we already had some style attached to it this looks a little bit differently than it did the first time around when we uh, built a, a site by hand because uh, we now have a specific font and a size attached to those h1s based on the style sheet that bootstrap already put in there okay so that is the first part of the process. Coming up next, we're going to show you how to add some navigation and how to add content to your page.